Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back to let's play Resonance of Fate on the Sony PlayStation 3. Last time, we made our way to Adersil up on level 1, and all the guards out front were slaughtered, and now we gotta figure out what's going on here, and get a lot of uh, good loot from the enemies, hopefully. Which are rather tough human enemies, they actually have a, a lot of HP. Uh, doggies, um, you, a lot of poison drums. Uh, again, I'm gonna try real fast. Ooh, actually, there's a... Uh, a thing right there. Awesome. Um, you know what? Leanne, I'll let you start by trying to clobber that poison drum. No, you're still too far away. Okay, never mind. I was hoping to get a nice uh, poison assault on this guy, but he might be just too far away from the damn drum for it to matter. And I'm just realized I'm on hollow point right now instead of metal point like I should be for this guy. But it seems to be doing reasonably effective to his main body, if not his outside body. There you go. Somebody got poisoned. It might be me. Uh, actually, I don't think anybody got poisoned. Okay. See if my handgun will break this or the poison drum. No, the poison drum got the dog. Okay, that's better than nothing. That means the dog will be slowly dying for a little while since status effects don't really last that long in the game, it seems like. Okay, let's go back to... Middle Court Round Plus Pluses, and... On to you. Try not to kill the... Gold Box there, since there's obviously something reasonably worthwhile in there, hopefully. Obviously, hopefully, same general difference, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and let uh, Zephyr polish his chump off here. I think this is one of those guys where if you destroy his armor, you have the better chance at getting his scrapped gun or whatever. Or if you just destroy the body, you're probably not going to get it as frequently. Uh, Leanne, you're kind of dying there. Okay, we got a scrapped hammer, whatever that is going to be used for, which is nice. You know, let's actually look at that real fast, because I care. Uh, let's see, scrapped hammer, I think it said, what, SH3? Okay, where you at, dude? Uh, it's used for a high mount elite, which we don't need anymore. Um, well, it's used for all the uh, like scopes and stuff like that that we don't need anymore. Uh, it's actually used for a uh, no, never mind, used for something else. Um, it's saying that it's used for some stuff, uh, but it's not saying what it dis dis dismantles into. So okay, we're just gonna have to ignore that, I guess. And you have just enough HP to survive, huh? Okay, there you go, you're dead. Uh, Leanne is being spared there, so that's good. And let's go to let Leanne try to get the blow on these dogs. Or at the very least, get rid of their shields. Okay, apparently that damn poison drum did not want to be left out of the fight here. So, that didn't work out as well as I'd hoped. Uh, let's see, back to hollow point round plus pluses. Since we're obviously going to be getting a fair amount of them, might as well use the better version. Okay, looks like we should be able to kill you. Uh, the other one has just a little more HP left, so we're going to have to deal with him a little slowly. A little slower, but we should be okay, I think. Uh, you're right on my ass, aren't you, dude? Goodbye. And you are just barely surviving. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and let you... Actually, you know what? We don't even need to run. We can just go ahead and do this. 
Perfect. Ah, with a nice charge speed, charge acceleration, whatever, we can actually get an attack off from just standing instead of having, instead of being forced to run. Granted, we have to hope that they don't turn around and screw us over. But other than that, we're reasonably fine. Where's the other one that I actually damaged? I don't know. But let's see what we got in here. Hopefully, something nice. I think we get another. Expander Twin Estrail. I'm not sure, but I think the... I think there's a second... Or, not a second. Another machine gun in here. Um, it might be one of the ones that we get from the post-game dungeon that I'm thinking of, but as far as I can tell, we might get it in this dungeon. I And, and the only reason I possibly know that is because uh, when I was looking for setups to use on my gun, I was finding... I was finding the, the wrong gun because it has the same name except... Uh, it's the three version instead of the two version. Um, okay, try to get rid of the uh, biohazard tank. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and go for the Yeti because he is probably the most dangerous here. And actually, you are just about ready to die. If I can get Leanne to get you full scratch there, or the rest of that scratch, we should be fine. We're not going to get your spark crystal, I don't think. But other than that, we should be good to be rid of you. Okay, perfect. And we might be able to get your armor. No. Okay, as long as the Yeti doesn't recover too much health, we should be A-OK. -okay. And it looks like this might just be another... There you go. Another, um, like, prize room. There might not be a whole lot to this besides just whatever is in that gold chest there. No, there actually is okay. There actually is another exit now that I'm looking at it. Uh, but can we? Okay, we can actually get to the yellow exit too. Okay, I was thinking that we might not be able to uh, actually get to that. Because they can be rather picky on which exits they do and do not let you uh, actually access. At least that's that's the way it seems sometimes. Uh, you guys are just going to be tedious to take out, if I'm guessing. Actually, if I can get you right in the ass cheeks, no, you turn around. Okay, we got the spark crystal, very nice. I didn't think we were going to get one since we didn't manage to destroy a whole lot of his armor, but that actually worked out pretty good. Okay, one of you's down at least, so we can get rid of you. You're rid of you. Um, okay, you're rid of your armor. And if I can, try to do the same thing to your armor. And probably fail. Yeah, okay, I failed. But I tried. Okay, good. You're dead. And you're very close, I hope. No, you actually survived... Uh, Pretty hefty little beating there for some reason. Okay, now you're dead. There you go. Nice, easy room. The Yeti didn't put up much of a fight. Usually he tries to spark us to death, hence his name, but he apparently didn't feel like uh, working hard today. Okay, that wolf has barely any HP left. Oh, come on. He has no HP left, like, at all. There you go. Alright, now let's see what's in this gold chest over here. I like how they're all gold and not, like, bronze or silver. So that means they're probably something decent. Okay, yeah, this is the one that I was thinking about. This is the uh, the gun that I kept seeing setups for when I was looking for the PDWXN V2. Uh, so I guess this one's slightly better than the P2. Okay, very nice to know that we can actually get it. Uh, okay, there's our 
No, that's the exit outside. I want to go to yellow and see what's in these other couple rooms that we haven't got to. Um, I'm not seeing any... I'm not seeing any chests. So I, what I'm going to do for this particular room, I'm just going to run past everyone. Because... I'm not really too concerned here. I can kill I can kill you at least, I guess. Might as well kill a couple of them, I guess. But if I don't have to waste time on any of these guys, I'm not going to. There you go. And maybe get the wolf a little bit here. Eh, we tried. Whatever. Zephyr, or Vacheron, whatever, whatever your damn name is. Let's go ahead and get everyone else's turn, that way we have enough time to actually run over there. And let's see what's in the pink room here. Let's see... Another exit outside. Where is that exit? Okay, here's the yellow exit. So the white exit is... I'm not seeing it. There's no other... I'm not seeing any other... What is it? boxes and I'm actually not seeing the way outside so I'm just gonna go ahead and go back to the other room then and just deal with that might as well take out a couple of these guys on the way over there and then see what the next uh, entrance outside is going to be. I mean, there's got to be more to this area than just these couple rooms, I think. I mean, if not, it's a nice short story mission. I mean, yeah, the enemies are tough, but it's not really that bad. Uh, what do we got over here? Energy X's, which I don't really need these particular varieties of. I mean, it's nice that we're getting all the straight blue X's, but at the same time, I can farm them pretty easy in the arena, and pretty much right next to the base, so I'm not really too concerned about these particular ones. Uh, let's see, go ahead and scram. And you're back. Uh, where is my exit? Over there. Uh, you know what? We'll take on the Yeti again just for the spark hides and whatnot. Or we could target that. Let's try that. <sighs> okay, the Yeti. Let's target him. I was wondering why I didn't see his shields. I thought I thought he, they gave us a glitched enemy that didn't have uh, shields to worry about. But no, just targeting the wrong object. Come on, you barely have any HP left. Yeah, this guy's gonna be a bit more of a pain in the ass than the last time we fought him, I guess. Alright, Zeph. Do your stuff, buddy. I don't know if he's still considered airborne now. I was hoping he was still considered airborne we might be able to get some uh, chips out of him. But no, he was clearly on the ground. You're just trying to poison anybody, aren't you? I think that's actually hitting the Yeti more than it is the wolf. Uh, 
Uh, let's go ahead and have you take this guy out before he regenerates all his HP. Get rid of some of your shield there. And I think as long as we get the spark crystal, we should be pretty much good to just head back outside, I think. Yes, let's do that. Yeah, cause these guys don't drop anything besides what fabric cloth and maybe scrap meat or something like that. Uh, let's see, the white is way the heck over there. Unless the white area that we have to exit from and the pink room that we were in is actually the way out of here, then I think we're pretty much done. Then again, I didn't see another exit outside. Okay, we are right here, right at this grand hall. Uh, okay, it's, say, it's saying back on that particular side of the grand hall is next, but we are already there, and there's not really anywhere to go in there. There must be something that I'm missing that I'm just not uh, seeing here. And why are we missing four of our hexes? I'm not sure what's going on with that, but I'd rather have them back. Like, they're, they're not blacked out like they could potentially be, but at the same time, I don't know why we're missing them. Maybe we actually have to kill these guys and get them back that way. I don't know. I need to, I need to really pay more attention to who I'm targeting at the start of a battle. Because uh, I keep targeting the wrong thing. Will you target him? There you go. Nope. There, that guy. And that did not work out for your health deterioration at all. Uh, and feel free to full scratch this guy. That'd be fantastic. If we could just go ahead and get out of here. Well, you got his armor. That's great. Now, his face would be even better. No such luck. Okay. He's actually brought his armor today instead of just kind of leaving it at home like he does occasionally. Dogs, you can uh, stop attacking me now. You guys do realize you're gonna die as soon as this guy dies, right? Like you have no purpose in this fight other than just to uh, irritate me, pretty much. Now, Zephyr or Veshron, what are you using for your ammo here? You are using whole point round pluses, which should be or plus pluses which should be fine to damage this guy now that most of his armor's gone. And it didn't work out so great for his original having armor state. But yeah, that worked out great there, even if it was this uh, full scratch damage. Uh, Zephyr, feel free to get your turn there, dude. And goodbye. Now, is that going to recover all my bezels? It did, okay. It's just randomly not full for some reason, but I have no idea why. Okay, back to the this version of the mines here. Even though I'm still not sure where we're supposed to be going in here. Uh, can we jump over... No, we can't jump over there. It's, it's not letting me put the cursor over there. I doubt we can jump over this wall right here either. No, we can't get through there. So what are what am I missing here? There must be some switch somewhere that I'm not seeing that we need to activate in order to get somewhere. I'm gonna ignore the enemies in here because they're. 
Just kind of in the way at the moment. Yeah, I gotta get to that pink room. Maybe what happened is, because I took damage and didn't actually destroy anybody to get the damage back, it just took the equivalent of of the bezels there. That might have been it, actually. I don't know if that's how it works, but it seems like a reasonable explanation here. Alright, so once we get to this pink room, we should be able to potentially see where this other exit is. Uh, no, it's not over there. So, where the heck is the exit? It should be on the left side here, as far as I can tell. We just gotta find it. Okay, that hurts. I love how them attacking me takes up my turn. Like, I don't mind the fact that they're attacking me, because that's kind of what they're supposed to do. But the fact that they take my turn, or take time out of my turn to do it, does kind of irritate me. Is there something over there that we can reach to get out of here? Vashron, if you don't stop taking all the damage in the world, we're going to die here. Okay, here it is, right here. Unless this is taking me outside. Now this might take me outside. Which is where I already was. Where the heck am I supposed to go here? Okay, I've been in the Grand Hall, and I don't know where the heck in here I'm supposed to go. I've killed all the enemies at least one time, so we should be able to... Because the blue room doesn't have anything. Uh... Okay, I see something over there, uh, whatever that red thing is, but... I don't know how to access it. Uh, shit. Hang on, I'm gonna kill these guys real fast and I'll be right back. Alright, so we have to get to that right there. The question is, how the heck do we get over there? There must be some way over here that I'm just not seeing. Yeah, we can't jump over there. Um, we can't jump over there. Do I have to walk around to the other side and try that? Like the other, like the other entrance to the pink area and try that? Uh, can I just like? Yeah, I'm not sure what the heck is going on here. Uh, okay, I'm just going to walk over there and see if I can't... Uh... Well, I'll meet you guys over in that pink room, so I'll be right back. Alright, back in that pink room. Um, and remember how I said I couldn't find the exit? As it turns out, if I had just bothered to kill the enemies in here instead of running out, I would have seen this thing right here, and we probably wouldn't have been able to do something. So, yeah. Uh, okay, that did that, but... Okay, so that opened up a shortcut. Yeah, that's great, but... Where the heck else am I supposed to go here? Okay, that opened up a shortcut. That's fantastic. That's great, but... I was kind of hoping for... You know... Something a little more... Show me where to go? Ish? Okay, let's head outside to this particular section right here and see what we get. Oh, okay. Never mind. I don't think we've been to this particular little 
hex here. Okay, so we should be able to be in some place new, I think. Or not. Okay. I have no idea what's going on here, so I'm going to take a quick break, and next episode, we're going to try again, I guess. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.